All right, what's up guys? Uh, in this episode of Commission Only, I'm gonna be responding to a question that I got on Instagram from one of my buddies. Uh, I'll tag him in the, in the link below, but um, he asked me, he just got his license and he wanted to know what are the three things that a new agent should be focusing on? And this is a good question because I, I look back at when I first started in the business uh, almost 15 years ago, and what got me off to creating some good habits was focusing on a couple of things. And the company that I worked for back then, it was a salaried position, entry level into the mortgage industry. And we would have to prospect basically every single day. We'd have to come in at a certain time. We'd have to be on the phones prospecting for new business at a certain time. Um, we'd go to lunch, do some training. We'd come back, we'd get on the phones again. So um, fast forwarding you know, many years and having the opportunity to coach many agents you know in different uh circumstances i can say it boils down to three things guys and the first thing that i'm going to say for any agent probably and brand new agents especially is the number one thing you should be focusing on is going to be lead generation and lead generation can come in different forms guys whether you love to cold call whether you're calling for sale by owners expired listings whether you're working open houses whether you're door knocking whether you're reaching out to people in your circle, your friends, your family, those are all considered lead generation. You wanna think of it as shots on goal, right? The more shots that you take on goal, the higher chance you have of something that's gonna be you know, converting to a potential client or a potential you know, escrow. So lead, convert, uh, lead generation, guys, is probably the number one thing that I think you should be focused on as a new agent. Now, let's say you are doing that. You're out there prospecting and you're doing these things and you're getting yourself in front of people. The probably the second most important thing that I think you should be working on is improving your sales skills. You see, when it comes to real estate, a lot of times people forget that this is a sales business. They think, oh, this is you know, a business where you show houses and all that stuff, but at the core, Real estate is a sales business, right? There's thousands and thousands of agents in any given marketplace. So why is someone gonna go with you and do business with you? A lot of times that comes down to your sales skills. Are you able to convey your value to these people and show them why they would wanna do business with you? So you have to have, get your chops up. You have to know what to say. So when someone walks up to you at an open house, you need to know your scripts. You need to know how to answer any objections. You need to know how to fully display your value. It's a sales business at the end of the day. So if you're not improving your sales skills, it doesn't matter how much lead generation you're doing, you may not convert those at a high level. Now, if you're doing a lot of lead generation and your sales skills are top notch, well then you won't have to do as much lead generation to convert you know, a new client, right? So the better your sales skills can be, the more you know your lingo, the more you know what to say, the more you know the marketplace and all that stuff, the better off you're gonna be at converting, all right? Now, if I had to give you the last thing, and I see this all the time, you know, if you got your lead generation down, you got your sales skills down, the last thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you are focusing on being consistent, right? I cannot tell you how many times I see people fail not because they don't know what to do, not because they don't know what to say, but because they're inconsistent. They're not doing it on a daily basis. You see, here's what happens for most agents. They work really hard, they get a client, they get something going in the pipeline, they shift all their focus to this new client. They stop coming in, they stop prospecting, they stop doing open houses because they're working on this new client right here. And then what happens if that deal falls apart? What happens once that deal closes? If you have nothing else in the pipeline, you're back to square one starting all over again. And that is due to a lack of inconsistency. Um, I talked to a friend recently who just started a, a new business um, and I asked him, hey, how's business going? And the first thing that person told me was, it's going okay, to be honest, I haven't been consistent with it, right? So it's not only in real estate that people are inconsistent, it's just entrepreneurs all across the board. Um, what I recommend is having a fixed schedule where you know what day you're coming in the office, what time you're coming in, what time you're doing your lead generation or your prospecting, uh, what time you're taking lunch, what time you're servicing your clients or working on files. 
Um, and basically having a schedule that you follow to the T. It doesn't matter if you're full-time, it doesn't matter if you're part-time, there needs to be a schedule that you follow so that you can get into those good habits and create that routine for you um, and it becomes predictable, right? If you know that you're gonna come in every single day for two hours in the morning and prospect, you can kind of start doing the math. Hey, if I book one appointment a day, that's you know five appointments in a week and start multiplying that and you can kind of predict where your business will come from, right? So if I had to sum it up, guys, lead generation is always gonna be number one, improving your sales skills so that you're better when you're converting these, uh, you know, these leads that you get. And the last part is being consistent, guys. This segment is all about commission only. It's all about the grind. It's all about people who are in sales, real estate, and related businesses, guys. So if you wanna make the commission, you gotta follow these steps. I hope that helps, till next time.